Hello, I'm Samantha Miller, and I'll be talking about our work on Bento, a framework for high-velocity Linux kernel file systems. High development and deployment velocity are critical to modern cloud systems because they allow developers to quickly distribute new features to users. However, this push for velocity hasn't caught up to operating systems and Linux kernel development and deployment are still slow. Among other reasons, slow kernel development velocity is caused by the difficulty of writing correct code in the unchecked C kernel, the potential consequences of these bugs, and the difficulty of debugging kernel code. Deployment velocity is slow because to redeploy an updated kernel module, any programs using the module must be killed, causing service disruptions that are unacceptable for providers with availability SLAs. File systems are particularly affected by slow development due to increasing pressures from new advances in storage hardware and new demands by cloud systems. Existing techniques for velocity in Linux aren't sufficient. Using the existing virtual file system interface in Linux means writing file systems in C so code can easily be buggy. Fuse, or file system in user space, uses upcalls to forward calls from the kernel to a user space file system process, providing safety and easy debugging. However, the upcall design imposes performance overhead, exacerbated by the file system's lack of access to efficient kernel implementations of caches and block device access. EDPF, or the Extended Berkeley Packet Filter, provides an in-kernel virtual machine that runs user-provided programs at pre-specified points with restricted access to kernel functionality. EDPF doesn't currently support file systems. EDPF imposes little performance overhead and limits the types of bugs that can occur, but is quite restrictive, so it can be difficult to implement complicated functionality. None of these techniques support live upgrade or easy redeployment. We propose Bento, a framework for high-velocity Linux kernel file systems. We identify several goals for Bento. File systems are often used in performance-sensitive environments, so Bento doesn't introduce significant performance overhead. Bento prevents memory and the low-level concurrency bugs and limits the effect of bugs on the rest of the system. Bento doesn't overly limit the types of designs that developers can implement. Bento works within Linux with minimal changes and doesn't require changes to existing binaries. Bento supports redeploying file systems with minimal effect on running services and supports running the same code at user space and in the kernel so existing user space debuggers can be applied. Bento is publicly available so the community can use it for research prototypes and rapid development. Bento leverages language level mechanisms to meet these goals. File systems are implemented in safe Rust. Rust uses its strong type system to enforce memory safety and data race freedom and eliminate accidental memory leaks without the performance and predictability of a runtime garbage collector. Safe Rust is a subset of Rust that disallows raw pointer dereferences. It is still flexible enough to support most designs. This raises several questions. How can we integrate a safe Rust file system into the unsafe Linux kernel? How can we dynamically replace the file system without affecting running applications? And how can we support running the same code in the kernel and user space for user space debugging? This shows the design of Bento. Black arrows indicate control flow during normal operation. Red arrows indicate upgrade. Bento is implemented as three framework components across two kernel modules. The Bento FS component is implemented as a standalone kernel module written in C. It hooks into the kernel as a VFS file system and interacts directly with the unsafe C kernel on behalf of the file system. It maintains a list of active Bento file systems, translates VFS calls to the Fuse low-level API, and forwards calls to the correct file system. The file system module consists of the file system and two Rust libraries, libbento fs and libbento ks that translate unsafe interfaces from C into safe interfaces for the file system. libbento fs receives calls from the bento fs module and converts the arguments in these calls from C style types to safe Rust types, for example, replacing potentially null values from C with the Rust option type, and replaces pointers from C with mutable or immutable references. Libbento KS exposes safe interfaces around kernel services, 
so the file system can safely use existing efficient, well-tested kernel functionality while ensuring correct ownership behavior and correct resource allocation and deallocation. For example, Libento KS includes wrappers around the kernel buffer cache and block device functions so the file system can perform safe, efficient block device operations. It also exposes kernel lock implementations for synchronization in the file system and the kernel TCP stack for networked file systems. The live upgrade component in BentoFS handles upgrading a running file system. When a file system module meant to upgrade an existing file system is inserted, the file system registers itself as an upgrade with the upgrade component in BentoFS. BentoFS then acquires a lock on the old version of the file system, stopping any future requests from entering the file system. BentoFS then sends an upgrade prepare call to the old file system. The file system performs any necessary cleanup and returns a custom state transfer data structure to BentoFS. BentoFS passes this data structure to the new file system through an upgrade transfer call. The new file system initializes itself and returns. BentoFS then updates the file system list to point to the new file system and releases the lock, allowing operations to proceed. For easy debugging of file systems, Bento enables file systems to be compiled to run in user space without any code changes. Most of the interfaces exposed to the file system by libbento.fs and libbento.ks are identical to existing user space interfaces provided by a Rust Fuse implementation and other Rust libraries. For interfaces that don't match existing Rust libraries, such as for the kernel buffer cache, we provide a user space implementation that exposes the same interface. The Bento file system can be compiled to run in user space using a build flag that controls whether the include statements target the libbentos or user space libraries. We used Bento to build a file system that we call BentoFS. BentoFS is structured like the XV6 file system, but includes a number of enhancements and optimizations, such as using the JBD2 journal module used by ext4 and implementing tree structured directories to be performance competitive with the XT4. This file system passes CrashMonkey crash consistency tests. We also implemented BentoProv, a version of BentoFS with file provenance tracking. In our evaluation, we seek to answer two questions. Can Bento support file systems with performance competitive to native kernel file systems? And what effect does life upgrade have on the availability of the file system? We compare the Bento file system, which implements data journaling, against ext4 in both data equals journal mode with data journaling and ext4's default data equals ordered mode with only metadata journaling for increased performance. To evaluate the performance of Bento, we ran both micro and macro benchmarks comparing BentoFS and BentoFuse, the version of BentoFS compiled to run in user space, to the ext4 baselines. This graph shows performance on application workloads, untar, tar, and grep on the Linux kernel source code, and git clone on the MIT XV6 repository. To see performance on FileBench micro and macro benchmarks and database benchmarks, please see our paper. This graph measures total time, so lower is better. BentoFS performs similarly to ext4 in both data journaling mode and ordered mode. Over all benchmarks we ran, we see no cases where BentoFS is unable to perform competitively with the XT4. BentoFuse performs much worse than the other file system due to fuse upcalls and user space block device access. To evaluate the impact of live upgrade, we measured the latency of operations while upgrading from BentoFS to BentoProv. We executed two benchmarks one with single-threaded pairs of create and delete operations on the left, and one with 10 threads, all executing synced writes to random files on the right. For both benchmarks, we upgraded the file system after half a second and stopped collecting data after another half a second. In both benchmarks, we see 15 milliseconds of downtime during the upgrade, during which one operation per thread is blocked in the kernel waiting for the upgrade lock to be released. After the upgrade, Performance recovers. Create and delete performance is lower after the upgrade because the provenance tracking file system performs extra work on these operations. To conclude, 
There are advantages to building a file system in the kernel, but we also want to support high velocity development. We have built Bento, a framework to provide high velocity development of Linux kernel file systems. Our evaluation shows that a file system built using Bento can perform competitively with ext4 and can be upgraded with only 15 milliseconds of downtime. Bento is publicly available on our GitLab page. Please check it out if you're interested. Thank you for listening to my talk. Please contact us with any questions that you have.